All right, what's up you guys? My name is McLean with the Off-Road Rhino and today we're going to show you how to run a rooftop tent on a budget. Okay, so to get right into things, um, Gabby and I, we really, really wanted a rooftop tent very badly when we first got our Jeep and we were on Facebook and Instagram and we started seeing these pictures pop up in all the Jeep uh, groups that we started following um, with these Jeeps with rooftop tents on them and they looked so cool and we knew right away that we wanted to buy one and this was going to be the way that we wanted to camp in our Jeep and the pictures only made it worse we wanted one so badly and all the pictures we saw were just beautiful so the next thing we had to do is figure out how to make it happen what do we need to be able to run a rooftop tent on the top of our Jeep and be able to go and camp and explore in places like this so obviously the first question we needed to answer was who is even making these rooftop tents and how much do they cost and we found a lot of brands like Tapui um, that were pretty popular and some of these tents were between $1,000 to $4,000 so that kind of shocked us right away we weren't really prepared to see that cost and then on top of just getting the tent we actually didn't have even a roof rack yet to be able to to mount it onto the Jeep so we're looking at roof racks as well and those were also in the you know $800 to $1,000 $2,000 even on some of these roof racks so we saw right away as soon as we looked into this that the costs were gonna add up very quickly and what I mean by that is if you're paying twelve hundred to two thousand dollars for a roof rack and then nine hundred dollars to twenty five hundred dollars for a rooftop tent your cost could very easily be between two thousand one hundred to four thousand five hundred dollars so rather than spend all that money we were able to find a very cost-effective way to make the rooftop tent happen for our Jeep and we found that in the Thule rain gutter mounts that work very well for the Jeep Wrangler, we're able to run a Thule rack. So we went on Amazon.com and we found the Thule uh, gutter mount foot pack, which is what you need to be able to put the Thule bars onto a Jeep hardtop. And we wanted the, um, the size that was low, but they range from low to high to super high. Uh, so we ended up getting the low as you can see the price changes the low was $180 and then with those foot packs you also need to get the bars and that was $110 so between the two we spent about $290 about $300 on our Thule roof rack system versus a one to $2,000 roof rack now for the tent we looked around and most of these tents are all the same design which means they're probably being made in pretty much the same place so we just went and found the cheapest one that we could I haven't seen any loss of quality because of the price with the Smitty built tent it's exactly the same as the Tapui tent the tent only weighs 50 pounds um, so that is a question that we get a lot about the safety the Thule rack can support hundred and sixty five pounds of weight and this tent only weighs 50 pounds so it was a great um, a great purchase to go with the Smitty built tent. It's exactly the same as all of the other rooftop tents that I've seen out there. So another question that we get all the time is, is this a safe setup to run? Are those Thule bars really strong enough to hold up that tent? And you guys, we've tested this over all kinds of driving. We've taken this on the highway at full speed. We've taken this down dirt trails. We take this rock crawling with us in Moab, and so far we have not had any issues with this setup holding us back as far as what we're capable of doing. And you guys might be saying, wait a second, these bars are only supposed to carry 165 pounds, but you've got a 50 pound tent and 250 pound people, there's 350 pounds. How is that safe? And you see the thing is, the 165 pound rating, that is a moving recommendation, meaning that while you're driving on the road, you should not carry more than 165 pounds. While the vehicle is stopped, however, you can carry a lot more weight safely and these bars will support it. So obviously my wife and I are not up on top of the tent while we're driving down the highway. All you've got up there is the 50 pound tent and the bars are able to strongly withstand any forces of wind while we're driving. But once we're stopped, 
These bars are much stronger and able to support the weight of the tent plus the two of us up sleeping in it and it works just fine. So by choosing to run our rooftop tent this way rather than a traditional roof rack, we were able to do this entire thing for a total cost of around $1,250. So that's it you guys. Now um, I'm just going to talk about some of the pros and cons of running the system this way and you'll just uh, I guess kind of see us doing a little time lapse of putting the tent away. Pros and cons, right? My favorite things about running this system. Number one, the rack is not permanent. We're kind of on the edge about getting a legitimate roof rack someday. I kind of like the look, sometimes I don't. I'm just undecided, but for the time being, the coolest thing about this system, as soon as we get home and we take the tent off, we can take the bars off too, and we don't have any of the commitment of running a roof rack full time. I can put those bars on, I can take them off, it's just that easy. Another pro of this system obviously was the financial cost and the reason that we made this video in the first place. We were able to get our rooftop tent functioning for the cost of some of just the rooftop tents themselves. Um, some roof racks cost as much as we paid for our whole setup and some tents cost as much as we paid for our whole setup. So. This was a very good way to get us going with our rooftop tent without waiting to pull the trigger because of financial reasons. Some of the downsides to using these Thule bars, number one is the rain gutters on the JK, and this would be different for any JL owners, but the rain gutters on the JK only go across the freedom panels in the front and then they go right over the back doors and they don't continue down the rest of the hardtop, which means that if you're running the system, you're going to have to mount your tent on the front half of your Jeep. Some of the downsides of that are there's a lot of wind noise while we're driving down the highway that I think would be at least a little bit less if we were able to mount it farther back because it wouldn't be directly over our heads. It also can be a weight issue. I feel like we are a little bit more heavy when we rock side to side. Um, and that does affect us a little bit while we're crawling. I think if I was able to mount the weight a little bit further back, it would be a little bit more balanced out. Maybe it would work out a little bit better. So there you have it, you guys. Some pros and some cons to running the system this way. Overall, though, we love it. People are asking us all the time, how are we running our rooftop tent? We just did it the way that worked best for us. No safety issues whatsoever so far, you guys. People are always asking us about the strength of these bars and are they strong enough really to sleep on? The answer is yes, we have taken this over all kinds of terrain, we rock crawl, we drive on the freeway, it has not held us back at all so far and the bars have been nothing but solid this whole time. So as far as the safety goes, I personally do not worry about it, we've tested it enough. I was a little bit concerned at first just because of some of the comments from other people but after doing this myself over many trips, it has turned out just fine you guys. So. I hope you enjoyed the video and do whatever you need to do to get out there in a rooftop tent yourself. It's one of the best camping experiences you could possibly have. I'm also going to be doing a rooftop tent tips and tricks video for those of you who already have rooftop tents just to, uh, to streamline the process and make things even a little bit easier. So stick around. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel for some more great off-road videos and we'll see you next time.